Hello War of the Visions fans, we're going to be doing a lot of Final Fantasy 13 collab content and Final Fantasy Tactics content in the coming weeks. I'm going to start off with the Lightning Should You Pull video because I think that Lightning is arguably the most exciting unit from the Final Fantasy 13 collab, although she's not necessarily the best one, but more on that later. So I'm going to start calling her Lightning 13, that way whenever I say it you're not confused if I'm talking about the element or the unit. Hopefully that helps a little bit. But what a lot of players might have realized is how similar Lightning 13 is to Cloud because they're both critical hit units. They're both in the Lightning element and they both have slash and missile attacks. Even their small AP attack have a 25% slash and peril on them. So if you're a player with Cloud already, then you might be thinking, why would I even want to pull for Lightning? And rest assured, there are some reasons why you would do that. There's some differences between them, the things they do better than each other. Uh, so in this video, we're going to cover everything that you need to know about Lightning 13 before her banner drops on Wednesday. So like I said, Lightning is a physical attacker. She has slash and missile attacks and she is a critical hit unit. She also has all round good stats. Like she's generally a very well statted unit and we can look at those more specifically in a sec, but we're gonna go over all of her pros now and we're gonna start by talking about her damage. So there's some things that you should know. For example, that she has a Noctis slash Astrius extra attack mechanic. And for those of you that are new to the game, basically when she uses this TP skill, whenever she attacks, there will be a second attack it's physically scaling uh, right afterwards that second attack can actually get through re-raise and courage because it hits after those effects go off so it's a very very powerful effect it basically means she's doing more damage than you think after that first attack uh, so she's also got a slash and peril on her small damage attack that like bread and butter six uses uh, small AP attack and she even has slash penetration and then lightning and peril on her limit burst now she doesn't have any slash penetration anywhere else on her kit so you're gonna have to supply that externally uh, but the fact that she does have access to it and it is a three turn buff that is a big deal she gets some defense penetration from her passives but then she has a barrage type skill with a 200 times mod but also 40% defense penetration for three turns. Now, if you have some trust stones or the uh, ninja garb, and then you have your passive on, you can basically get to 90 to 100% defense penetration for the three turns where this is active. And the barrage skill is going to be easy to hit with because the AOE makes it a longer range skill. So this skill is also going to restore AP on the kill. If you kill one person, it's 15 AP back. If you kill two people, it's 30 AP back. So it's a very powerful skill. It's her kind of most important skill because it makes all of the rest of her skills deal more damage because of the defense penetration. The thing is it only has the three uses uh, so that's definitely worse off for guild battle uh, but what we can get out of this uh, damage section is that she is going to be a, a very powerful attack unless she's going up specifically against somebody with very high slash resistance unless you've heavily supplemented it from your vision cards your gear uh, and then also something uh, like her limit burst. Next up, we can talk about her utility, and she's got plenty of that as well. On her sniper sub job, she has a dispel spread, which is a great attack, very powerful. A bit AP intensive, but it's still very, very potent. And then she can even uh, use, well, she has multiple skills that have a chance of inflicting disable, which is a very powerful status effect. And she also has a very strong slashing attack that has a chance to inflict slow, which is one of the most impactful status effects in the game. She also has a barrier break, and that's nice to see that it's on a skill. Uh, that is, it's not her limit burst, like Cloud has his on his limit burst, he can only use it the one time, she can use it, uh, you know, as many times as, well, I don't know, like three times, I think. She also has a preemptive counter that deals damage and it restores AP. Now, this is a big deal if you've been facing Astrius, if you've been facing other people with preemptive counters, they can actually be the difference between you winning or losing a battle uh, because you finish somebody off before they finish you off. And as well for utility, Sniper and Viking sub job give you different things, more debuffs with the Sniper sub job. With Viking, it gives you the utility of having a passive that gives you 15% missile resistance and that's good enough uh, on its own but you also get some more attack on a passive you also get uh, some access to some other status effects more slashing skills uh, nothing really that special until we see a buff 
or Viking in the future, uh, but definitely very, very cool uh, to have those two sub jobs. Those are two sub jobs that I very much like my units to have because I just think they're solid sub jobs. And then finally, she has uh, lots of AP generation. So we already talked about the skill that restores some AP, but she has some AP consumption down and then uh, some AP AP generation on some of her TP skills. So basically, uh, you know, if, especially if you pair with Cloud and they're both uh, critting, then you're going to be getting a lot of AP uh, generated easily. Finally, for the pros, we're going to talk about survivability and lightning has a very high starting magic resistance. It's 20%. That's really good to see. 10% for slash and missile, which is fine for starting, but she then has a TP skill that gives her 25% to each of those. Now you're looking at lightning and you, you have all these amazing buffs that she applies to herself to, for survivability and for damage. So Dispel is going to be her worst enemy. Uh, but otherwise, she also has a TP skill, the one that gives her those resistances, that gives her a three time 50% 50, uh, 50 all damage reduction barrier. So if your opponent does not have a barrier break, uh, then Lightning is going to be pretty tanky. This is where she differs the most from Cloud in that she doesn't have a lot else going on aside from these resistances and the barrier, whereas Cloud just has a really high amount of AoE resist, which is mostly impervious to dispel and, and imperils and stuff. And that's kind of it's it's more reliable than what lightning has in some in, in the general matchups but in a lot of matchups lightning will be better because people won't have access to the dispel uh, or to barrier breaks before we move on to the cons i just want to remind everybody that if you want to support the channel then you can like and subscribe something as simple as liking the video actually makes a big difference with the algorithm on youtube so it's a really easy and free way to support me so thank you very much uh, for doing that Okay, so for the cons, there's not too many. I would just say the biggest thing is that she doesn't have a lot of penetration. She does have the slash pen on her LB. It's for one battle, right? Because if you're doing guild battle, I like to think about these things in terms of guild battle because, uh, you know, you don't get to pick as many, as much of your matchup as you do in arena. And the fact that she doesn't have missile pen or anything, it means that there are certain units that will be strong against her. Now, at the end of the day, uh, it's not common that you're going to have someone with super high slash and missile pen. There are tanks like that. There are certain units like that. Uh, but I think she's going to be just fine. But it is something to keep in mind that you have to supplement that. It's more to build. You know, if you're doing trust stones, you're building slash pen and you're building missile pen. You know, something to consider. She also has limited uses of her skills on her main job, and that is a potential guild battle drop off. So, if she uses a couple of her barrage skills and then she goes into fight two, she only has one left. Same thing with her slow skill. So, that is a demerit. Like, we saw that Terra was, that was her biggest weakness in Japan, and then when they gave Meltdown six uses, it, it literally launched her into relevance and global for a while. Uh, you know, she dropped off a bit now, but it really does make a big difference having six over three you know uses so have to consider that and then the other thing is her accuracy now she has an accuracy buff and her weapon is actually really good so we can farm a weapon for her that gives her lightning attack it gives specifically to, to lightning 13 it gives her uh, missile attack slash attack and accuracy you can also build it an aim version and it's pretty solid so again going back to the weakness here is that if she gets dispelled you're going to lose 25 missile slash resist you're going to lose your 30 accuracy you're going to lose your pen for slash and for defense so really lightning does not want to get dispelled it's a really big deal uh, same thing with barrier break if she gets hit with a barrier break she'll still have her impressive resistances but if they are using a pierce or a strike attack then she's gone and if they are using a dispel like a dispel spread against her will put her missile resist back down to 10 percent it will break uh i mean i guess that doesn't break the barrier but the point is like the, she is weak to these dispelling effects and these barrier breaks that is something to keep in mind because she doesn't have any innate defense spirit aoe resist single target resist anything like that uh, to, to, to back her up it's just what you supply her so I should mention that she's not inaccurate but she's just doesn't have 100% hits and compared to cloud that's a big difference because he has a couple of them and some pretty good ones to be honest so you can build her for accuracy she is going to be doing fine hitting units but then you're sacrificing something else or if you're against like super evasive units then that might be an issue compared to if you're running cloud so just something to keep in mind all right, everybody, for this next part of the video, I'm going to put a comparison up with Lightning 13, Cloud, and Esther. And I think these are all pretty important units to compare. You might be putting 
two of them in a team or maybe just one of them in a team depending on what you're going to do because you can only fit so many units into a PvP guild battle team which is how I, I evaluate units because PvE is just not that difficult in this game. So when we look at her compared to these two units, Lightning 13 is more survivable than Cloud when all of her stuff's up right when everything's active when everything's going her way but she's going to be less survivable than esther she has better magic resistance than esther well and cloud as well and that is a big deal so that instantly puts her into a category where you can slaughter into a different meta where there's lots of magic damage and lightning is going to be able to take that now cloud does have lots of built-in aoe resistance he can put on the brigandine as well uh, he has a really good tp skill with aoe resist so he actually has this this world where you can you can build him super AOE resist and make sure he's not getting single target attacked and he would actually probably be more survivable than lightning but that's a, that's a pretty hard thing to swing sometimes i think lightning overall her protection's better again just has more of a weakness than AOE resistance does now, Cloud also has more crit support than Lightning. He has more defense penetration than Lightning. I did a, a, some mock calculations where I basically kind of built Lightning for... Lightning 13, that is, for accuracy, and then Cloud is just the damage build. And they were actually pretty comparable, but when Cloud was critting, he was dealing a little bit more damage. Now, when Lightning 13 got her 80% defense penetration active, that's a big deal. All of a sudden she was dealing more damage than Cloud and she also has access to more slash penetration off of her LB. So when you compare the two, and she also gets way more missile attack up than Cloud does. So she can deal a lot more damage with her missile attacks than Cloud will deal with his missile attacks, but he'll deal a little bit more damage with like cross slash than she will with her biggest slash attack. So I think they're actually pretty comparable um, at the end of the day in terms of damage you're not going to drop off from one to the other like really it depends on you know how you've built them one thing I couldn't I couldn't put them all in a team and use everything I wanted to so for example there's like there's no Esther sword or or VC or Esther herself on the JP side of War the Visions calc so I can't put them all into a party together uh, but basically what, I, what I'm seeing is is that cloud and, and lightning are very similar damage wise lightning's doing a uh, does a better job of the missile attacks uh, cloud does a little bit better of a, a job with the slash attacks uh, but he has some extra utility in the crit support the AP generation off crit the uh the 100 hits lightning has more support and utility of of her stats effects uh, her missile attacks and uh that extra bonus attack that she gets that cloud doesn't get so ultimately lightning has more utility she has the imperil she has the the lightning apparel that is she has the penetration once she gets it active the extra damage effect i just think that she's gonna edge cloud and that makes sense because she's coming out much further after him she will edge cloud ultimately uh, but cloud is going to be stronger versus evasion compositions so she's going to work really well with cloud and with esther uh, you could do a, a party with all three of them you could do a party where esther is your tank and you have lightning and then maybe you have resnick or maybe you're going more traditional you have charlotte as your tank and then esther and lightning are more bulky bruisery types uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can build it we're not even factoring in Ibarra into these calculations so there really are quite a bit of teams here I think that if you do have cloud and you're really happy with him and you have a lot of other lightning units then you could get by with lightning without lightning 13 but I I think that at this point in the game and, and the fact that she can fit into to a few more metas with her ma uh, magic resistance, uh, but also with that extra attack makes her an upgrade over Cloud in a lot of situations. And But there are still situations where they either work together or Cloud would just be stronger. Some other quick notes that I wrote down here. So Lightning 13 is gonna build more missile attack in a lot of ways, but spe specifically because of her weapon. Now, Cloud does have access to Esther's weapon, which is a big, a big bonus for him. Now, she looks slower than him, but when you equip her agility passive, she's actually slightly faster than Cloud is, and you're always going to have that equipped. So, if you're thinking, "Well, she's slower," she's not. Uh, she does need more crit support, both crit damage and crit uh, chance. She needs more of that than Cloud does. Cloud has a lot more baked into his kit, so that's a big deal. All right, we're at the end of the video. We're going to talk about should you pull for lightning. And I think that most lightning players 
should pull for Lightning 13 unless they're very, very happy with their current squad. They don't foresee issues with the current meta or future metas, and they want to save their Vizior because at the end of the day, you can only fit so many Lightning units into your squad. But if you want my personal opinion, I think that she's slightly better than Cloud. I think she's worth a spot over Cloud, but then also could work really well with your Cloud. So she's just going to work in, in different metas than Cloud will. And, and I think uh, that, you know, we'll see her, her be very, very useful in PvP, basically. Uh, you know... Now, if, if Lightning as an element becomes very, very strong, and we're seeing a lot of Lightning 13 and Esther uh, and Charlotte, Ibarra, and maybe not as much Cloud, I don't know, then Evasion's going to be a viable counter to it. Just because you'll run into Lightning teams that aren't teched against Evade heavily enough, so you can kind of pick that spot and counter them. Uh, but I think Lightning will be able to beat up on a lot of a lot of teams once we get Lightning 13 out in the game. So I'm really looking forward to that because I'm personally going to be pulling for her on Wednesday. I'm going to be streaming it. So look forward to that. Uh, probably 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. I'll be streaming my polls. So I'll put a I'll put a video reminder up on the channel so you can you can like bookmark it or whatever, and it will give you a notification. Otherwise, you know, you can let me know what you thought about the video. Was I off on anything or is there anything else that you'd like to see? My goal is to keep these in a reasonable time frame. So I don't want to go over too much information. So the video is like super long. I want it to be under 20 minutes, preferably under 15 minutes. If I can get 10, I mean, that's great. But that means that you don't get things like where I go over builds or, or like certain uh you know esper configurations and stuff but there are other content creators that do that kind of stuff so like that's kind of more more their jam and then you come here for the quick and easy breakdown of what you're gonna do so that's it all right let me know what you think uh if you're pulling for her and otherwise i'll see you in the next 13 video which will be soon